arteries bring in good stuff and veins take the bad stuff out of the legs. And they flow from the outside of the leg in what are called superficial veins that are close to the skin but lay outside of the muscle. So they can be a half inch or an inch below the skin, but they're still outside of the muscle. And it's only when those one-way valves direct it down into the deep system that we, we call those deep veins, and they're buried deep in the muscle, that then it's like being on I-70 heading out of town. It's the main highway to take the old blood back up to the liver and the kidney and the lungs where it's going to get refreshed and renewed and the waste and toxins are going to get a excreted out of the body. So superficial veins flow to deep veins. They take the bad stuff up to the internal organs. So so when we get the illegal U-turns, those toxins stay down there, correct? Yes, the blood that's in the deep vein is actually pressurized like a water main. And the one-way valves, as long as they're all working, keep everything, you know, directed downward and then upwards. The problem occurs is that through an injury or trauma, or occupational, that some of the valves just poop out. And blood in the deep system being pressurized will escape and balloon that vein. And eventually, that vein balloons more, and then it weighs heavy on the next valve, and then that valve breaks, and then it damages two veins. And you get kind of this domino effect of pressure pushing out of the deep system and gravity causing a downward growth of it like a tree. So we always like to start up high and treat the root of the problem up in the thigh and then clean up the branches later on. So envision an upside-down tree where the root of the problem is up high, and that's the great saphenous vein that's the culprit 90% of the time. The small saphenous vein on the back of the calf is implicated anywhere from 35 to maybe 45% of the time it's involved. Some people have both the great and the small saphenous veins. They're just blessed, I guess. Question.